KDP just updated their dashboard. As you can see from here, we have everything all changed. The, now we have uh, the title, create new title at this place. Before it used to be at the section, now it's at the center. But what I don't like about this, it's um, I think they have something I have to show you now. Yeah, so I think uh, now when your book is in review, this is what it shows. Before, instead of the orange color, then when it's publishing, then when it's live, it changed to green. Now it's now all black. They should bring it back. We don't like this. All right. So, so now I'm going to be walking you through. If you're a beginner, you don't know how to navigate through this dashboard. I'm going to tell you everything, especially at the report section. When you click on the report, we have there is no report here. There's no book published, so there's no way I can have report. So I'm going to go to the account that I have report because if you are just new, you don't have anything to show for it. Your report is going to tell you no book published. Yes. So because this is a new account, that is why we have no book published. And I believe before you want to check for report, your book should be selling. But on the place where you have a report, you want to see around all the site. We have the bookshelf section. We have the report. We have the community. Then at this tab, if you're using your phone, I think it's smaller than this if you're using your phone. If you're using your phone, you have the side where we have uh, this place called the orders. We have the key and period. This is trying to tell you where the stuff is coming from, from your order, from your promotions, then the tools. I think I like using the, these estimators most time. So uh, these estimators gives you the power to pick between the dates the date how you want to search hey i want to check from the six days of february to eight the eight days of this in this month or better still you can see in the last seven days in the last 90 days in the last this year in the lifetime so in the last 90 days you can click on the last 90 days and it's going to tell you hey this is how much you've made in the last three months or in the lifetime all stuff this account have been from april to july yes april may june july this belly four months and it is a kind of been trying as best and other stuff so from here you still have um at the reality estimator you can move around compare book you can change from your currency to this sometimes you want to check on usd and you will discover that the usd gives you a higher version than that of the this um gpb so sometimes <laughs> you can even scroll down and choose the msn i think this is the most funniest one where you have thousands of 59 mexican shillings i don't know what they pronounce this or dollars but look at how big it is when you see this you're confused oh all right so but whatever it is let's just remain at the gpb then we have the uh, prior month royalty at this place you want to know this july 25 the, what will they pay you how much will they pay you here you check the fed report this is what you're expecting now paper bar you have expecting 801 the united kingdom 28 and all stuff this july you can say okay in the last june how much you're expecting june will be paid in the next 60 days that's june will be paid in september that means uh the one of uh, august will be paid when august september october that means going to be paid on the 21st 20th 21st of uh october and by the uh seven days after your payment like gray clever will process it and you have that you can see the main market has been the united states followed by uh, this little few which we have at the united kingdom and all stuff this last month we have a thousand plus made from this june from this account this was a good one so now the payment you want to check which payments really processed the one that failed you can see all the payments went through and you can see this is when you show pending this has been paid the reason why this has been shown pending is it has not fully been processed then in a few time date this will be processed you can see this was really sent which is 899 has been sent in one way or the other which i'm expecting the gpb of 35 have been sent these have been sent which is how many marketplace one two three four five five marketplace are coming then if it fails you can check your payment method and tell them hey my payment failed and all kind of stuff that's on that aspect then we have the community and the community aspect i say i'm explaining the old dashboard and see where changes has happened so we have the community where you can check around and see what happened in the community then play around the community mind you you can still 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 navigate around the dashboard and see what is there all right so the community it's coming up we'll see what's good talking about the community 
I think they have a lot of support in the community aspect. You can see at the marketing and the promotional strategy, there are a lot of questions that have been asked, your page, payment sales, managing your books. But forget about the community. I am the community. <laughs> you can send me a message and I will reply or your message it. Regardless, and we have a greater community where we speak by experience and real-time answers. That means on my WhatsApp, we have a forum. You can join that. Then back to the marketing aspect. I think uh, I have a uh, ad calls that tell you about how to run ad and make money. Trust me, I have a campaign that is running very, very massive on this. I think I've spent some kind of crazy stuff that is still coming forth. Okay, now we have these. Uh, we have KDP Select. Should you put your book on KDP Select? The question. KDP Select is a program on Amazon that allow people to read your books for for some peanuts, some cents, and you get paid. Imagine they can read a thousand page of your book and you make like four or five dollars. It's good if you're a uh, fiction writer. Yeah, you write novel, you write poem, and all kind of stuff. You want to put your book on KDP Select. But if it's a book where you don't have to put a book so that no one should read your book except they buy it, print it, print it which is called the paperback, then don't put your book on KDP Select. Me, I don't put my book on KDP Select, depending on what you write. Then we have the Amazon ad. This is the place you run your ad on different marketplaces. The UK, the DE, the Japan, the France, the Italy, the Spanish, the Canada, the Australia, the Indian, the Mexico, and all Japan. Okay then whatever it is just and short d is germany sorry not japan jp is japan so we have auto central yes it's good to create an auto central page for your book so that you can put all your book together and talk about your profile and a plus content was created this you can see the word new it has been in existence for long if you have the time to create a plus content go ahead and create a plus content search on youtube how to create a plus content and you're good to go then you can put your book on on your a plus content on the marketplace there are guidelines there are samples run price promotion you can put your book on free promotion most time free promotion is good when you have a plan for example you want to put your book on free promotion so that people can buy your book and give it a star rating for free that means anyone who uh, buy a book on free promotion can give you five star can still give you one star depending on what happens that's why I advise if you're running a free promotion, ah, your plan, your marketing strategy, it's very, very important. So over time, I told uh, on the marketing aspect, you can see I've spent 77 and I've made 52 sales, which is no crime. This is a very good one for me. And you can see we have a thousand plus made with this. Trust me, some people have uh, their A cost, which is the advertising cost of sales, is very, very smaller than this. Why some is having 15? There is no rule of thumb, depending on your market. For someone doing coloring book, we spend more than me who is doing a different kind of niche. So don't just come and say, hey, uh, yours is cheaper because of that. I want to run ad. You can have a higher A cost. But in case you don't even know what Amazon ad is, reach out to me and you get a cost for it and you are good to go. All right. As of yesterday, I think there was a sales here. I spent $4 and I made three sales, which is a good one. Three sales should give me like 12, which is return times three. Yeah, we'll spend just two and we have four yeah we have we spent one and we have it because it was higher this place there is already a sales of yesterday two and we have but yeah nothing is going on currently today we'll see how it goes that is the beautiful aspect of marketing market your book is very important very very important then finally on the bookshelf we're coming back to the bookshelf again and we are good to go that will be the final lap of this video then there are things people really say it's a hey, i want to archive my book Archiving your book does not change the status of the book. For example, from here, if your book is blocked, you archive it, it does not change anything. So here you can search for your book by title, by series, by archive title, by all titles. I always leave mine at this place. This is the beautiful place of it. Then sort by last modified, by title. You can just change all the filter and the filter them. Then filter by live publishing in review and in draft. You find the book easily. Sometimes when I'm looking for a book that are all blocked, I say hey, look for blog book. And blog book does not mean your account is not good. Then at this place, we have the search. You can search for biography. You can search for anything, whatever you're searching for. And you're good to go. Should I put my book on series? Yes. Create a series and put your book. Your series is just like a catalog. Search on my channel youtube channel how to create a, a series you watch that put your book on series very important use one pen name one book cover design these are marketing aspects think like a genius and you are good to go i believe we've talked about this you've talked about, know about the royalty printing course that was introduced ensure you price your book good let not let it not be too high let it not be too low let it let it be moderate but mind you people have money to spend that your book is expensive 
if they buy your book and it's good they will not complain about the pricing but if your book is bad and it's expensive you will get a one star or a minus one star review i think this is all about the dashboard update that i can see for now and i think there's one thing that was introduced as well it's when you're putting your book trying to upload your book they tell you should you apply your book a digital right management no you already know what digital right management is said it protect the right of copyright holders sometimes this is more better instead of putting the copyright page on your book you can just click yes yes but if you think about it for example amazon can be very stupid sometimes your account gets terminated those books cannot be republished on, it, on a different account let me just say this silently uh, so be careful when applying all this right management but to keep your book safe from perpetrators i want you to put yes no one should go around your book then finally we have this i don't know if and my informative images include so me i used to pick no of the informative image include alternative text depending on what you're writing if you think they will not understand the image you can just apply some text in place of it and in case the image is not printed on the book or could, they could not find it on their kindle uh, reader app the application they used to read your book that's the the kindle version of your book that test will tell them this is an image of a rabbit or something or a man who is trying to enter his house so that's why sometimes you go okay but if you're not sure just pick none of this you get you can just pick i don't know or this or you can pick whatever it is it's your choice so that's all for now i don't think there's any other stuff about the dashboard for now there is no other thing. Signing out from your dashboard does not mean your account is safe. Some people say, let me sign out all time. No, you don't need to be signing out all time. Stay on there. You can see on my PC. I have all I have my account signed in on this place. I don't have to be logging out. I don't have to use VPN. I don't have to use some crazy ideas. So just be on it. Amazon just wants you to give them quality, follow their rules and regulations. There's nothing like device or kind of tracking or any stuff. So if this is helpful, you can subscribe to this channel, share to your friends as well. Join my community with a link on my YouTube channel. I believe you should know that for now. And thank you for 6,000 subscribers. We are getting better. My name is Austin. I'll see you in the next video as well.